You know, when Harold had his first business trip last year, the guys at the lodge were so happy he was going away, they all chipped in and got him one of these laptop computers. The problem is, the name laptop scares me because Harold's lap is no place for anything valuable. Which got me thinking, if they can make a portable computer, why can't some goofball make a portable desk? Well, guess what? Some goofball has. Now, this may look like a regular garment bag, but it's actually a business traveler's dream. If you do a lot of business travel, it might be a recurring dream or a recurring nightmare, depending on where you're going. Now, inside on top, we have our neatly folded suits. And underneath, we have our neatly folded desk. TV trays. They're not just for pathetic bachelors anymore. And of course, you gotta have a flashlight and a coat hanger. Those are essentials for any executive, because what's a desk without a desk lamp? <laughs> now, the rest is up to your imagination. The garment bag itself becomes my modesty panel, see? And I've added a pan hanger with the metal clips to my desk lamp. Of course, now, you're not gonna hang your pants on there unless you work for the government. Instead, you're gonna hang the best part of your pants, your wallet, or as it's also known, your Rolodex. <laughs> of course, you can't travel without traveling music. <laughs> Transistor radio ought to take care of that, huh? <laughs> Fancy nameplates to add that final touch of sophistication. <laughs> and there's our portable desk. It's quick, it's simple, and it's ready to hit the road. So remember, if the women don't find you handsome, they should.